Taylor confesses that she and Ed Sheeran recently hid from the cops. And did Christina Aguilera just diss Britney and Shakira? And one of these three stars is creating a really morbid video game. Oh yeah, we've cool. got all of that and a lot more on today's Rundown. What's up guys? Uh, thanks so much for coming back to the show with us. I'm Dana Ward with Aaron Robinson. That's right. We are still recovering from the Oscars. Truth. So um, crazy. But we've got some news today. We have a lot of news. Actually, Christina Aguilera is making headlines and it is hilarious. So funny. Okay, so Christina was just a guest on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, and we all love all of his games, right? Yeah. So he has this one game called Wheel of Musical Impressions, where whoever the celebrity on the show is has to impersonate different musicians out there, and she, Christina Aguilera, had to take on Britney Spears. What? They've got some history. Check it out. This little Peggy went to the mall again. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy ate well. Oh, sweet. When we, we all the way home. So obviously that was a very popular children's song. It was. This little piggy. <laughs> this little piggy. But that's not all. Christina also impersonated a Shakira. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Feeling that the celebrities know who they're gonna impersonate, but, but not the song. This. Yeah, that's exactly right? what I thought. Because it's, it's too good. It's too on point. Okay, so <laughs> I want to know what Britney Spears thinks about this. Like. I I checked her Twitter and she hasn't tweeted she yet. She hasn't said anything yet. Yeah, but hopefully she'll respond. I think it's not all in good fun, so totally. I thought it was really funny. Okay, and now to decide for outfit of the day, and shockingly, it's Taylor Swift. Huh? Shockingly, my fashion <laughs> icon is Taylor awesome. Swift. She was on Radio 1 with Ed Sheeran on Tuesday uh, wearing this really cute navy long sleeve kind of skater dress. Yeah. It has this like little gradient thing on the bottom. She looked gorgeous. I loved her ox blood shoes. They were mm -hmm. awesome. Uh, but Taylor wore this at this very special radio show where we're finding out that Taylor is not really the princess that she wants us all to think that oh. she is. Okay, so, so she's not the princess emoji. She is not the princess oh emoji. Oh my goodness. So Taylor and Ed were partying after the Grammys because they're BFFs. Mm -hmm. They went to this hotel room of Mark Ronson. Uh, there were about 40 people in this hotel room. It was a big house-ish party. And apparently the cops were called. Uh -oh. And instead of staying around, Taylor and Ed ran to the bathroom to hide. Taylor said, quote, I grabbed Ed and I was like, cops are here, come with me. I never thought I'd be the one saying that. <laughs> also, apparently Hozier was also in the same place and went to hide as well. He was hiding behind the door in the bathroom. And she said that he is so tall, he's like six foot four. And she was like, it was so weird that we were in there. But I'm really shocked that Taylor went and hid from the cops. I'm shocked too, I mean, you're not, they're gonna find you. I'm sorry, you're in a hotel room. At least hide under the bed or yeah, something. Yeah, or like hide behind the pillows on the bed. <laughs> Dana, you would get caught. Every no, time. the cops would never look there. <laughs> okay, so she also said a lot of crazy things happened that night. Oh. And apparently she spoke to The Weeknd after the award show. And he told her, quote, you told me how beautiful I was for like 15 minutes straight and started to pat my hair. And she said he just, he just, she just kept talking about his hair. So she had a couple of drinks, so maybe she wasn't making logical <laughs> decisions. That's what alcohol does to you people. Don't drink and do house parties. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to real official dance parties. The Dancing with the Stars cast is just announced. And yes. And I'm freaking stoked. There are some professionals signed on for season 20. Whoa. Get excited. First of all, I want to give major shout outs to two of our friends who made the cut this season. We've got Willow Shields. You know her as Primrose Everdeen from The Hunger Games. And then we also want to say big congrats to Riker Lynch from R5. He yeah. is also joining this lineup. 
Um, but it doesn't stop there, people. This is a competition. Lots of people are signed on for season 20, including Red Foo, Rumor Willis, Robert Herjavec. He's from my favorite show, Shark Tank. Oh, yes. We've got model Charlotte McKinney, NFL player Michael Sam, singer Patti LaBelle, Olympic gold medalist Nastia Lukin, and Army vet Noah Galloway. Plus, we also know that one more star will join the cast later this week. Who do you think it'll be? Um, okay, my best guess, I think maybe Tyler Blackburn or Keegan Allen from PLL Got because it. Whitney Carson is the professional dancer who will be partnered with this mysterious person and she's young so it makes sense that she'll be partnered with someone young plus this show is on ABC so I'm thinking maybe they'll do some support ABC family right um, we will just have to wait and see but I can't wait um, the season's kicking off March 16th that's right around the ABC. corner See. I'm gonna be watching. Mm -hmm. All right, it's time for What's Trending. Yay. Okay, there's a lot going on. First of all, it's almost time to say goodbye to Glee. The series finale is March 20th. Very, very sad, but they've had a good run. And this week wrapped up all of their scenes. They finished shooting this week. But before saying goodbye to the show, Leah Michelle had to grab one last memento from set. Mm. She posted this photo of her leaving set, carrying this huge frame with the caption, one last thing. And while you can't really make out what it is in the photo, we have found out that it was actually the framed football jersey that belonged to Finn Hudson, of course, you know the character that was played by her late boyfriend, Corey Monteith. It was so sad, but at least they, she has this one little piece of their history that she can look on and think fondly of them together Definitely. on set. I mean, it's emotional when you close out something that took up so much time in your life and so much effort, and you, it was really her family. And yeah. she's really like saying goodbye to Corey one last time. I know. It's really sad. It's really emotional. Speaking of emotional, some of y'all out there might be crying right now because we're hearing hysterically, <laughs> hysterically that Jamie Dornan, who played Christian Grey in Fifty Shades of Grey, of course, mm -hmm. may not be coming back for the sequels. Which is crazy because right? I thought the contract for Fifty Shades of Grey would probably include the next two book turn movies. Yeah. Well, here's the reason, apparently. Jamie's wife of two years, they have a 15-month-old child together. Her name is Amelia. Amelia Warner, uh, she's become very uncomfortable with the fact that her husband is now this like sex icon and that he has to shoot all these raunchy sex scenes. Um, and she's just not having it. So I'm sure he's gonna try to finagle his way out of the contract. This is still just a rumor right now. We mm -hmm. haven't had official confirmation on this, but if he doesn't come back to the franchise, do you think it can survive with someone new? I mean, I guess they'll have to make it work, but it is really strange once you already assign an actor to a character, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to make that switch in your mind. Yeah, I don't know if they can pull it off. We'll see, we'll mm -hmm. see. Uh, something else that's really interesting today, found out today that Kanye West uh, is trying to pull a Kim Kardashian and create a very popular video game slash app. Yes. He was on The Breakfast Club 105.1. He told the crew that for the last six months he's been working on this game. The concept is this. It is based around his song that he wrote for his late mom, Donda, called Only One. And in the game, people will help take his mom to different levels of heaven mm -hmm. to get her to the highest like level of heaven. Like you hold her up to the light, I hear. Yeah, they're apparently you're gonna like hold your phone up to the light and that, I, I don't, I'm not sure exactly the deeper meanings behind this app, but um, I think it's sentimental for him, but it's weird to take such a sensitive subject and make it a video game, right? That's it's, like weird. It's really, really strange, but he is, uh, you know, he was just awarded the BET Visionary Award, so Maybe it's something we just don't understand yet because it is so personal. But yeah. hopefully for his sake, it is as popular as his wife Kim Kardashian's app game was because that did really well. It was ridiculous. Regardless of successful. how you feel about the content, it did so well. And they so. are definitely, they definitely have the star power, so a lot of people will probably play it. We'll have to. It's time to sayonara, but we have a couple of questions. Dana, I'm going to let you go first. Oh, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> we want to know, who do you think should be signed on as this last spot in this season of Dancing with the Stars? Good question. We're thinking it's probably going to be a guy. Yeah. Are you guys psychic? We're about to find out in the comments. Mm. Uh, also, got to know, if you're, being, if you're being chased by the cops, 
Where would you hide? Dana's sticking with her pillows theory. You go behind the pillows in the bed. No, you hide in the dirty laundry basket. <laughs> I used to do that. <laughs> Gross. I did. You're like the. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. I mean, for hide and seek, obviously, but. I've never done that. That is so. It's it's underwear? You have dirty my underwear clothes. On your face. It was my clothes. <laughs> okay. I guess that's all right. Let us know what you, where you guys would hide in the comment section below. You guys are awesome. We love you. Dana Ward, Aaron Robinson. We'll see you tomorrow. You. Thanks for watching DHR. Bye, guys. And to see us react to Lady Gaga's Sound of Music performance from the Oscars, click in the video box on the left. And to watch us lose our minds when Neil Patrick Harris stripped down into his underwear at the big show, click to the right. It was a big show.